Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge has been repeatedly praised for not setting a foot wrong in her decade-long career as a member of the royal family. Her ability to be an impeccable representative of the royal family prompted Vanity Fair France commentator Pierrick Guiz to suggest the Duchess is not the natural heir to the late Princess Diana despite earlier comparisons. Speaking to LCI, Mr. Guiz said, Kate Middleton, unlike Diana or Meghan Markle, has always been the model little girl. She wanted to learn, she wanted to do well and now she is just perfect. She wanted it, this position of Duchess. She went to this university to look for her prince. But she wanted this job and now she is impeccable, never a misstep, she is the perfect royal highness and I think that for that, she is not Diana's heir. Mr. Guise went as far as suggesting Princess Diana would have probably had a stronger bond with the Duchess of Sussex because of their many similarities. He added, I don't want to do fiction, but if Diana were still alive today I think she would be much closer to Meghan Markle. She has the same temperament, the same ardor. The Duchess of Cambridge has taken on an increasing number of official duties in recent years, both as a consequence of her three children growing up as well as the royal family preparing for the changes they will be facing once Prince Charles ascends to the throne. Shortly before the pandemic hit the UK, Kate took part in her first solo tour of the UK to promote her Five Questions on the Under Fives initiative. She also took a leading role alongside her husband Prince William and other senior members of the royal family in supporting the Queen through the health crisis by continuing to conduct royal engagements online. Last month, Kate joined Her Majesty and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall as they visited local project in Cornwall during the G7 summit. Kate's uncle Gary Goldsmith told the Daily Mail, she doesn't just look the part, shush is living the part. She acts like you'd want a royal to behave. She has that poise of the public servant, yet she also has the common touch, or the Diana touch, as I think of it. It's a difficult balance, being someone people can identify with but also look up to, but Shush has got it. I think Shush is the Queen's protege. He added, obviously I'm biased. I'm her uncle. I love her dearly and I've known her since the day she was born, but I genuinely think Shush is an exceptional person doing a brilliant job, and recent events have only served to highlight that.